This is the Anunnaki the self-proclaimed gods over mankind. This is what they look like. They are the same creatures that staged a scoffer crash in 1947. The ones that were all top seed on TV. When I say staged, I mean that was the Anunnaki way of getting a double agent here on Earth to oversee and direct the Illuminati. And the Illuminati went to great expense to convince you that these creatures do not exist. The Anunnaki came to Earth right about here in our evolution and took control of our DNA. We were on our way to becoming an intelligent race with all of the promise and opportunity that the Anunnaki have enjoyed for billions of years. The Anunnaki came with one purpose in mind, how to turn the Earth into a planet that they can inhabit. The Earth was the perfect choice for the subterranean creatures with its vast underground oceans of oil. The main task would be to remove the oil leaving hundreds of millions of square miles of underground open space for their cities. More oil is burned into the atmosphere every day than all the cars, trucks and planes burn in 10 years. Anunnaki enslaved mankind through DNA manipulation and deception. Deception is perpetrated against all mankind by the Illuminati. The Illuminati is now carrying out thousands of attacks on mankind. Under the instruction of the Anunnaki Satan who is a double agent. Serving the Anunnaki. This whole deception was carefully planned. Out and is going as planned. The Illuminati even after all of their hatred torment and murder of their fellow man, they are innocent. None of us ever stood a chance against the Anunnaki deception and DNA modification. In the center of every galaxy billions of stars, moons, planets and everything that is compresses under such immense gravitational force they compact to the point of matter inversion, truing matter into antimatter. When this happens the most incredible phenomenon happens, consciousness, I think therefore, I am. This is how consciousness came to be. This is the great mathematical architect of the universe making all life possible. The Anunnaki set up all religion as part of the deception. The reason the Anunnaki torment mankind is not because they are evil. It is because they want more than our planet and more than our slavery. They also need our dark matter souls. And when the Illuminati tortures and murders the first four to six billion humans, the Anunnaki will be waiting to intercept all of the souls. The Anunnaki use dark matter for many things. It is the most powerful substance in the universe. It is conscious and it is God. The great mathematical architect of the universe so the Anunnaki used the earth as a soul trap by conditioning humans through religion to get you to give away God's greatest gift to you your everlasting soul. The Anunnaki control matter with their minds they can create life out of raw matter using only their minds. And if they need work done they manipulate life forms to do the work not machines. The Anunnaki thrive on slavery, mankind is nothing more than a domesticated tool to the Anunnaki. They use their solar system the Bayru to travel throughout the universe and have been doing so for billions of years. Earth is being turned into a system to replace Nebiru. When Earth is completely operational and when the Illuminati has carried out the decimation of the masses, the last prophecy I will be fulfilled. The Illuminati will be relocated to Nebiru, a dying hell-type planet. And the meat Anunnaki will inherit the earth. There is a way out. Although the Anunnaki have done this to all of us, they have also given us the Bible. The simplest quote. The truth shall set you free. If we can get out the truth about these creatures and what they are doing here and what they want from us. And how they are creating religious icons to manipulate you into giving away your everlasting soul. We are all victims of the Anunnaki including all of the religious icons that suffered as part of this manipulation and no matter how much we love these icons we should keep our souls free and never pledge our souls to anyone or anything.